Good morning, chat. Hello. Hello, chat. Let's jump right into it today, Tuesday morning, January 31st, last day of January. All right, let's jump right in. All right, we're gonna start doing some quest lines today, chat. Running three wooden planks, a bronze bar, and molten glass. All right, three wooden planks. Do I have wooden planks? How do I make wooden planks, chat? Good morning, You're awesome. Lady Ramek, first one in the stream. How are we doing this morning? Hello, beautiful. How are you this morning? What else do we need for this? We got wooden planks. Maybe you'll get a bronze bar, and then I have molten glass in here, I believe. Draw one of those. My bronze bar should be over here. How's work going for you this morning, love? I want to just view my metal furnace, not... How do I not withdraw all? If I just go into it by clicking it, can I withdraw one? How do I just withdraw one? Maybe I can't do that from here? Send the leverage. It's pretty quiet so far. Yeah, it's pretty quiet here too. It's that kind of day. It's a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. Uh, I'm excited I'm going to do some questing today. I just want to figure out how to um, withdraw just one bar. Just one. I don't want to withdraw one. I'm going to look it up. Bars three, how to withdraw one bar at a time. I don't understand. I don't understand. Yo, shrimp, good morning, sir. How are you today? Ran out of creamer and coffee at work, lady says. Coffee is a little bland this morning. Coffee's coffee. Coffee's coffee. Shrimp, how are we doing this morning, bud? Yo, I really want to just switch out one bar. I don't understand.
Oh, got it, got it, got it. Withdraw X. One. All right, let's go. We're going to do some questing today, guys. Yo, how's everybody doing today? It's the last day of January. Does everybody have everything done that they want for the month? Shrimp says it's too cold. Car won't start. Can't get kids to school. They left van door open uh, for three hours yesterday. Got the battery too low to even try to uh, start it. It normally barely starts. Just hate the cold. For sure, bro. My car too. When I started this morning, it we're uh, at negative 10 this morning and it just started squealing. That belt was frozen. It did not want to go. Do you have anybody to come jump you, shrimp? You may need a little jump. Let's set this to active. To the observatory north of Castle Wars. Whoa. Okay. Where's the closest telly? Here, we're going to have to go through this whole fucking maze. Or can we go around the maze? This is the whole... A whole fucking thing over here. Let's just try it. Let's go here. The girlfriend is either sleeping or I don't know. Waiting on a reply. Well, I hope she gets back to you soon, bro. Gotta get those kids to school. Education is important. That sucks, bro. I'm sorry you gotta go through that this morning, man. That's the... It's a rough way to start the day. Other than that, what do you got planned for your day? Oh, shit. I forgot runes. Damn it. Damn it. I forgot I'm doing magic right now to get my magic up while I'm doing this kind of stuff. I don't even need to do that, actually. Sets at 70. <coughs> Let's switch all that out. Wait, not that, not that. Damn it. Damn it. Do this. So we do it, son. Had a nap plan before door dashing. Won't be able to do that either. Shit. You're awesome! Bro, we need to get that door dash in. Need to make that money. Yo, Al Shaquito, how we doing this morning, sir? Hello to you, sir. How are we doing? We're finishing out January. Lily on FB coming in with that like on the stream. How we doing today, everybody? I appreciate all you guys coming in this morning. Today, we're going to do a little bit of questing while we grind out and talk out. Yeah, we do at the moment, but can't do anything but wait. Dang. I'm fine, thank you. How about you guys? Yo, Al Shaquito, bro, we're, we're vibing today, man. It's a Tuesday. He says, oh my gosh, is it early morning Ramek? I know. I'm sorry, Lily. How are you, sir? Yo, I'm doing great today. You're awesome! I'm doing amazing. Good morning to you, Lily. No, it's not. <laughs> Good morning, brother. Hope all is well. Yo, I hope all is well to you, Izzy. Sweet. 
I wasn't able to go around it, guys. Izzy! Yo, how's everybody doing today? Does everybody have everything that they want to get done for January? Done and checked off. We ready for a new month? Just my, my coffee about to lit up a ciggy. What's our question this morning? Today, we want to make sure that everybody is where they want to be. What is everybody... We'll get it as we go. I don't have a specific question today, I guess. Right now, I'm just asking if everybody's ready to finish January. And if not, what do they got left on their plate? What are they doing to get her done? Remember, shrimp are friends, not food. Hell yeah. Shrimp is our friend. Where is this stupid thing? Observatory. Requesting today, guys. Wish I had taxes from Facebook. Yo, if you made enough to get your taxes done, congrats, bro. How the hell do I get in there? Okay, it's, he's in here. He's in here. I am where I want to be, but I wish I could be in tropical weather somewhere with a fat margarita. Holy sheesh. Don't we all. Okay, I think I got to talk to this guy, guys. We're going to do some quests today. It says, what would you like to talk about? Talk about the observatory quests. It's cold. Yo, it is so cold. What what temperature is it where you guys are at? What temp is it? I would like to talk about the observatory quest, please. Hi, I was. He says, welcome to the magnificent wonder of the observatory, where wonder is all around you, where the stars can be clutched from the heavens. Okay, mystical, bro. What temp is it where you guys are at? 32 with rain and breezy as fuck. Yo, I'll take a fucking 32. I'm fucking stoked. Tomorrow's supposed to get up to 15 degrees here. You're awesome! What a do, fam? Yo, too much tones. How are we today, bro? Hey, chat, can we ask, can I ask you guys a serious question? Let me ask you guys a serious question quick. It'll make you think uh, what idiots we are. What's your temp? Today we're negative 10. Uh, before wind chill. All right, so the rest of the world uses Celsius for temperature, right? The rest of the world uses Celsius, but here in America, we're idiots, and we decide that we're going to use a different system. We're going to go by Fahrenheit. Why the fuck wouldn't 32 degrees be zero degrees? Why wouldn't, if we got to just make up the system and do whatever the hell we wanted to do, why wouldn't freezing be a zero degrees? Be easy for kids to remember. It makes fucking sense. Why 32? Holy shit, talking mushroom, she says. It's four here, it feels like colder with wind chill. Welcome to the Midwest, baby. Doing okay, how's it on your end? Yo, too much tones, we're vibing today, man. What do we got on our plate today, too much tones? What do we got on our plate, bro? Nice intro. Why, thanks. How might I help you? Observatory. Glad I'm in the south. Ah oh, man. Y'all got such good food over there too. Sometimes I wonder why the fuck I'm in the Midwest. What blows my mind is that at a certain temperature, they're both the same in Celsius and Fahrenheit. Right? None of it makes fucking sense, dude. I don't know why we had to be so different from the rest of the world on so many things. Same with like miles instead of kilometers. Why we gotta be different? says there's a sub a superb telescope up on the hill over here truly marvelous invention the likes of which you'll never behold again well it would be if it worked what doesn't work you and lady and the kids move down here ah, I wish we could I wish we could um I, don't know, I got I got a pretty good job up here Working 
and then a co with Lyle and Cass. Yo, Lyle and Cass are fucking goaded. They're some of my favorites, man. I love going into their streams. And we play with them every Saturday. They're, it's amazing. I look forward to Saturday every week. Wake me up when work is over. <laughs> I agree. Miles is easier than kilometers. But the point is, is everybody else already had kilometers. We've already been measuring by kilometers for fucking years. Why the hell do we come in to be different? I'll be your best friend forever. <laughs> I believe it. Oh, no, no, no. Don't sit down. He's just joking. Aren't you my faithful assistant? Nope, dead serious. Has been working for a long time. So it sounds like their observatory is broken. Their telescope chat. We're going to fix it. America is different. I mean, we got to be. I mean, I guess it makes you stand out. It does help you stand out, right? There's a horde of goblins. They're causing trouble. And they tampered with this telescope chat. What the fuck? Let's go fuck those goblins up. God dang. Shrimp, what are you doing up so early? You had a late night. Hey, don't talk shrimp. Don't talk shit to my shrimp, bro. <laughs> Threw a bunch of tea overboard, and all of a sudden, we don't need your system of measurement. <laughs> That'll show them. Those damn goblins. Fuck yeah, those damn goblins. We already got our parts. We need to replace it. They want our help. Do we help them? Here's your choice. We're gonna accept. Boom. She'll need materials for the telescope so it can be used again. Yeah, help them. Of course, we're gonna help everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Start with three planks of wood for the telescope. We got that. We gave him the planks, chat. I went to Boston for work, and it was actually kind of cool. History was awesome. Traffic was... Peachy. Oh, traffic was ass. <laughs> Sheesh. Big cities do have just terrible traffic, man. Terrible, terrible. Granithor's Game Forge coming up with a like on the stream. What's up, Gran? We're just talking about you, bro. We're just talking about you. Oh, chat. Oh, my gosh. I, I There will be no ads played in today's stream. We put in lots of hard work this weekend. I have a three-hour combined clip of songs and music for us to vibe out to during RuneScape. I'm mixing my sugar and creamer with a bit of coffee. Get it, Lily. His ears must have been burning. His booty must have been burning. He knew we was in here talking about him. He knew we wanted him. He was talking crap. <laughs> Sheesh. It's bronze now. We got that shit. He's talking shit to his assistant. Yeah, no ads, right? Dude, I'm... We are pumped to have no ads in the making of this video. Oh, wait. Lady Ram can know I'm not using your cup today. This one can't be your cup, lady. It's all right if he's talking crap. He knows who daddy is. <laughs> can I do the fun fact? Fuck yes, you can, Lily. I definitely want a fun fact in this morning. We got to get one. Nice music. It's groovy. Thank you. All right, we got him his bronze bar. Now we need some molten glass. 
We are back. Okay, okay. Lyle, how are we doing today, bro? We productive this morning? Let me get a question, too. Um... Um, I got some fun facts to talk about, but we'll wait for Lila to get back. There is something that I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts on, actually. Daddy? Hell yeah, he's daddy. All right. ACH of the suits on a deck of cards represents the four major pillars. Whoa, where'd the comic go? Where'd it go? What just happened? There it is. Okay, each of the suits... On a deck of cards represents the four major pillars of the economy in the Middle Ages. Heart represents the church. Spades represents the military. Clubs represents agriculture. And diamonds represents the merchant class. Yo, that's pretty cool, actually. That's actually a really cool one. Minus 40. Yo, Mike, what's up? Good morning, sir. Fadi coming in. What's up? Good morning, guys. All right, guys, here's some fun facts about the, uh, You're about the awesome. for 27 days. Yo, Fadi, I appreciate you, sir. All right, here's some fun facts, guys. I don't have all the um, statistics down precisely, but I know a rough estimate. OK, so pre 2020 COVID, our unemployment rate in the United States was three point awesome. something or another percent, like 3.5, 3.3, something in there, right? Which is millions of people. Come COVID, all sorts of businesses failed, shut down, small businesses, all sorts of businesses due to COVID restrictions had to move people out. People were getting laid off and our unemployment rate in a matter of months shot up to like 7.8%. It was huge, right? The highest our country has seen in a long time, 7.8% or 7 point something. Don't don't quote me on the on the decimal. Right? 7 point something percent. It it doubled our unemployment rate. So now fast forward here into 2022. 2023. COVID is dying down. I'm not saying it's gone, but it's dying down. People are much less scared of COVID. They're panicking less. They know it's something that we can work through. Um, so people are coming back to work. The problem is out of the three point something percent, which sounds like a small percent, but remember that's millions of people when we're talking about the entirety of the country. Most of them did not come back into the workforce. On top of that, when COVID restrictions were lifted within the country, there were more jobs created than jobs that were lost. So now we have all these people sitting at home. They were able to uh, survive off of stimulus checks, off of unemployment checks, and they can continue to survive in those ways. Um, and we have more jobs. As a matter of fact, there's more job postings today in our country than there are unemployed. Literally every single last person who's unemployed, every single homeless person, all of them could all get a job and we would still have job postings. So I'm very curious. Why do we think that people are not coming back to our work. Also, we're at an all-time low of women within the golden age of 25 to 45 who are not working right now. There's like some 30% of them who are not working. Same with an all-time low of 
people within the ages of 16 to 18, so our youth is also not working. Our youth is the ones who runs our gas stations, our fast food restaurants, um, our grocery store baggers, all those things. Like these 69% of them are not working. What do we think is prohibiting people from coming back to work like never before? It used to be such a big thing in our country to want to work, to have to work, to have this dedication, to provide for your family. What is creating this shift and how do you think our country gets around this? What do we what do we do and why is the mentality shifted on the ability to or the desire to to work? Mike says, what about me, tear face? Get out of here, Mike. He's my daddy. <laughs> Mike says, hey, Leach, just fine. Just feeling lonely. Oh, hugs for Fadi. I'm sorry, bro. Walmart has bumped their minimum wage up to $17.50 in my area. I may go back to overnights there. Yo, ours here is at 18. 18 for Culver's, 18 for Walmart. First of all, data is being misconstrued, but what do you mean by that? Good morning, Allie says. It was a big uh, study that was actually just done. You always have a friend in me. Hey, yo. Hope you have an amazing day today. Bye, Fadi. Where you going, bro? We love you. Have a great day, bro. Overnight is 1850. Dang. They work selling pics of their buttholes. <laughs> Yo, know, there's more opportunities online today than ever before, but also they're all extremely crowded markets, such as what many of us here in this chat understand with Facebook streaming. It's a very crowded market, so it's very hard to differentiate yourself and grow in something like that. So I don't know if that's generally the case. There are a few lucky souls out there, but many of us do it more as a hobby um, who want to make it big, and we're going to continue to push ourselves, but it's extremely hard. So what what is... Why such a mentality shift do we think is in our youth with 69% of them between the ages of 16 to 18 not working? There's also long-term studies done that show that when you don't work in your youth, you're less likely to be productive and successful as an adult. OnlyFans is a legitimate you're income. Awesome. OnlyFans is a legitimate income for many. Um, but you're also well, maybe. I guess Lily, you know what? I don't know your personal business, but I'm gonna jump on a leaf and assume. That you don't have an OnlyFans, meaning that you're watching from the outside. And once you'd get on the inside, you'd see that it is just as uh, oversaturated market. There's, you know, so many hundreds of thousands of people on there who have two viewers, who have made 50 cents, who have made 20 bucks. It's, you know, not everybody on OnlyFans is making, you know, a quarter million dollars. Funny says, I'm going to leave in my house. And stay outside with myself. No friends in my country. Yo, Fadi, we all love you, bro. Just hang out here with us, man. You're goaded. And besides that, if friends don't want to be around you, then they're not the type of friends you need. They're not the type of friends you need, bro. Um, believe in yourself, trust in yourself, and know your own self-worth, and the rest will come. You don't need anybody else. You need to pick up yourself. You need to be amazing to yourself. And you need to trust yourself. And if your best friend is yourself then you're going to be able to share that with anybody else around you, and you're going to be just as amazing, dude. You're awesome. Mike said, ha, 69. <laughs> it's true, though. No, I don't have enough confidence for that. I mean, it does take a huge amount of confidence, but really, it's a really saturated market inside there. There's many people that are just making a small income there as well. Oh, I love you too, chat. Fadi, you're amazing. Guys, let me go get a Siggy quick. Let me go get a Siggy. And I want to continue this conversation. Pause. I would never though, even if I had the confidence. Yo, for sure. 
You don't need that damn cigarette. You're right, bro. You ever need an ear to bend? Always here. Yo, bro, potty. We're always here, bro. Have, I hope you have a great day, potty. Go out there. Be positive. Be you, dude. Have a great day. So seriously, though, guys, why? Why is our youth not getting that first job? Why is our youth not working? And moreover, a big question is, and I'm a huge fan of women's rights. Why has there been such a large push on getting women's equality? And I think we've taken large leaps to get to where we need to be. I'm not saying that we're there yet, but we're getting there and we're making the right steps. So we've there's lots of things to help get equal pay. There's lots of programs out there to help women get an education and get other things so that way they can, you know, equal out the workforce, equal out the executive force in order to equal out the, the pay disparity between men and women in the country. There's been a big push to um, to have that. And now that we're we're almost there, all of a sudden um All of a sudden, there's less women working in our country than ever before. So, so why that shift? Why a big push on this is important? We want this equality, and then as soon as we start getting there, women stop working. What what is happening? Fun fact: humans and slugs share more than 50% of their genes. That's kind of creepy. Philosophical chats. You better believe it, sir. You're awesome. Hello, China Rainbow Queen. So that's a fun name to say. How are you today? Do you guys find that weird or is it just me that there's been such a big push and then all of a sudden just to pull back from that? What, what is your touch on it? Too much tones? Did you hear the whole thing or what's stopping everybody from wanting to work? Is it um, self-ridden desire where everybody has so much focus on wanting to do their own thing? Do we think that's the separation from the workforce through COVID helped everybody want to have their own train of thoughts? Or do we think that it created a lazy mentality? Is it industry specific or universal? Yo, it's universally. Everybody's struggling right now. And so you maybe missed the beginning of it. There's actually more job postings in this country right now than we have unemployed. So everybody could get a job right now. And there would still be job postings um, that also help. That's also part of what's helping drive our prices up. Because when workforces don't have enough work, they can't pump out enough work. Most workforces throughout the year of 2020 have created a big shift. Instead of trying to create profit, they're trying to hold their bottom line. They just don't want to go under. And with lack of work, um, creates lack of product that you can put out, which then you still have all of your overhead, all of your different costs, all of your different product, all of your different um, electricity bills, machine there renting bills, we go. all these other things that you have to pay for. And so now they're having to raise the price just to make their bottom line to make sure that their company doesn't go under. So it's also rising up our inflation because we don't have enough workers to support the needs. Most of our youth is lazy, sadly. So what created that? Why? Why? Too much politics. I can't even begin to say what I want. Yeah, I would like to leave politics out of it if we can. So I get that. Um, I'm more looking for a mentality shift, really. And what's created that? You know, I feel like it's because most people just don't trust others to raise their kids. Also, I think it has to do with homeschooling as a woman is uh, teaching their kids. Homeschooling, there's been a big shift in homeschooling, especially as more and more people are grading the mentality that our school systems are holding back our youth. There's been a huge mentality shift on that too. Coffee is life, fuck yeah. Sasuke coming in saying, how you doing, sir? Yo, dude, we're doing great. We're doing fucking amazing this morning. I don't think it's laziness. I, you know what? I do think that there's... It, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. Um, I can see how our generation can view our youth as lazy. Um, but I think there's definitely been a mentality shift, which maybe creates that persona. But they just have different dreams, different hopes, different wants, and different ideas on what their drive looks like. Buddy said, I had a girlfriend, but we broke up because she cheated on me. That's why I stopped the relationship. Bro, good for you. Um, another one's going to come along. She wasn't the one for you, bro. Keep your head up. Keep your chin up. And I'm so sorry you got to go through that, bro. It's, there's nothing I can say that's going to make that easier, man. That's That's a rough one. I'm so sorry, bro. Grant Thor says, agreed. There's too much political agendas mixed with this. 
you know, political agendas aside, I do b believe that there are political agendas in, in everything. All right, without calling out names then, Shrimp, you say you don't believe it's mentally at all either. So what, what do you believe it is? And a specific person can't be a blame because it's a conglomerate of things here at work that if it's not a mentality shift. Too Much Tone says, I believe people were shown a reminder of what matters most. People who held jobs, didn't enjoy them, didn't feel valued, sought elsewhere. This drove the wage higher because people were moving out. That's a huge part of it. I would agree. Nothing better than when that coffee hits out. Yeah. If I started talking facts, people are going to get pissed. That's what we're here for. Yo, Shrimp, we've said it over and over. We're all about diverse opinion. If people don't agree, it makes engaging conversation. We're here for it. Go ahead and put out an opposing opinion. Go ahead and say what you think. That's what we're here for. It's okay to have a difference of opinion as long as it's you know not offensive. We're not here to discriminate against anyone. So we're here for that, bro. I don't see them being lazy. They just want to live. But how do you live without producing money in today's day and age? How do you live with that? All right. He said, it's fine. Bro, it's it's okay to not have it be fine. Yo, Sahil coming in with a like on the stream. What's up? He said, I'm not even sure, Ramek. Our generation strives to have better and want better. Newer generations don't have that strive and ambition that our parents used to embed into our head. Technology plays a huge part of it. Yo, but every generation thinks that. I think our parents have the same thing about us, especially like think about video games are ruining your head. Video games You're are awesome. ruining your mind. Video games are ruining our country. TV is ruining our country. Um, all these, every generation I believe thinks that the next generation is like that. So I don't know if that's the case, but I do believe there's been, there's been an obvious number to play and shift in the workforce though. So that number stands for itself. But I'm not going to say that they don't want to strive to do better and be better because that's relative. So their better may not be the same that we view as better. You believe that the stats that I read are politically driven. That could definitely be the case, but it wasn't put out. Well, you know what? You never know who's backing what research foundation. You never do. Good morning. Are you asking me to speak about politics? I'm holding back, but about to just say it. I mean, as long as we're not calling out um, somebody specific, then let's talk about it. Like I said, we're okay with difference of opinion. Everybody's opinion matters here. That's right, Lily. Everybody's opinion. A difference of opinion is great. Today we have new skins, Gohan and Piccolo. What? Miss Taken coming with a like in the stream. What's up? Granithor said, I think it also has to do with what You're we You're awesome! Need to slow down. People don't need to be slaves to corporate America. People are sick of getting treated as a number and not a person. Fuck yes, and I think that's created a huge shift in the workforce. Um, but even mentality in the workforce, I believe that many places have gotten a whole lot better about that. But there's many places that have lots of lots of uh, room to grow in treating their people's workers. The workers are the front line, and the workers are really what makes your business go. So they want to be valued. They want to be treated like their work matters. But at the end of the day, I believe that's something that what corporate America needs to do is do better at showing their frontline employees the value of the work that they do every single day so that way they can go home feeling accomplished, feeling that their day mattered, feeling that their work mattered. Because at the end of the day, if you just go in for a paycheck, you go in, do your job and hate it and go home, you didn't feel successful today and you don't feel great today. So we need to do better at allowing them to feel valued. Yo, much love and hugs. For sure. Yo, Sasuke, we're all doing great then. Too much time says capitalism took hold and cost of goods increased. And we know business won't lose money. So the gears keep turning no matter what it bowls over. Yo, that's what I'm saying though. Most um, most corporate jobs, they've shifted their mentality. They've, I've, I've been in meetings around it, right? 
and we're analyzing lots of other businesses as well. The whole mentality has shifted here in 2023. You're awesome. Most places are not trying to drive up their, their profitability margins. They're really just trying to hold the baseline and make sure they stay float, especially when we start looking at the financial the financial companies, which is a huge part of America, which you know keeps everything running really. So the financial pieces of it are all trying to hold baselines and anybody else that has and has to hold overhead is also really struggling. So they're just trying to hold baselines. Krebs says, good morning, bro. Yo, good morning to you, bud. You're awesome. Riz coming in with the like, what's up, Riz? I'm great sipping my coffee and vibing with everybody. Hell yeah. TV is ruining the country including social media due to political agendas. You know, the, I do believe that the problem isn't with social media and the problem isn't with TV. The problem is, is that people need to have more freeform thought. People are so quick to just trust everything that they read online. The first thing that they read, they don't trust the opposing piece of information. Do better improvement is innate human quality, so I don't think it's that. What would suppress something has been an innate in our existence for so long. That's, yes. I just keep erasing stuff, I'm done with this convo. Oh, bro, I'm sorry, you don't, you don't gotta feel held back, bud. Go to update Fortnite today. Today is update day. Nail on the head. How are you this morning, gorgeous? We're doing amazing. Drank coffee and do in my curbside grocery order. So I may be quiet for a second. Get them groceries. We're just coming in flexing. Da, 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 da. Good morning to you, Riss. Good morning, beautiful. I could give a shit less about politics, honestly. Yeah, I care about people. I care about people. Um, so but at the end of the day, politics can influence people. And they can't hold people down. Not too bad. Slow moving this morning. Here's your swift kick in the butt, Miss Taking. Get out there and get your day. Chase it. Push it. You got this. You're amazing. Don't let yourself hold yourself back. Kamehameha. Yo, is the Kamehameha coming back, Fadi? My sister got engaged two days ago. Yo, I saw that, Ali. Congrats to her. I'm super excited for her. That is amazing. Oh, no. We logged out of the game. I just got caught up on chat, though. I just got caught up, though. Dang. Congrats to her, Allie. That is amazing. We gotta talk to this guy. We gotta find a lens. So I'm sure one of those goblins, I bet they've hidden it somewhere. Probably use it for some strange purpose, I'm sure. It makes you say that. You're awesome! I had a nice new star chart. Until recently, I went out to do errands for the professor for the other day. And I saw a goblin using it. Some kind of makeshift hanky to blow his nose. What? Fucking goblins. What are they talking about? Is... Goblin under what little village? Alright, chat's flying. Intrinsic motivation theory says that's true. Tie it to a purpose and quality of work improves the worker engagement. Yes, for sure. Too much tones, for sure. Um, let's keep going. Do an update now? Hell yeah. Sir, what do you do? I really like your view on these things. I appreciate that. Um, I work in the financial industry. I actually run a debt, or I um, I work for a company that oversees uh, some credit cards for five different banks, and I run the uh, the uh, debt collection part of the uh, company. I'm fine. Let me show you kind words. First time to hear it. Congrats, sir. Hell yeah. Swift kick in the pants. The reason we have friends. Hell yeah, Miss Taken. Hell yeah. Angela Landru coming in with a like on the stream. May light up this J. It's early for that, Lily, but you do you. Sir is pure greatness. Oh my goodness, Lily. Thank you. That's so kind. 
That's very kind of you to say. You're gonna make me blush over here. Sheesh. Y'all don't know what to do for this quest. What little village? This little village? Are there goblins over here? Let me join you? Hell yeah, get it. It's real super suave. You are, though. I've been looking forward to this morning stream. The vibe session makes my whole day better, honestly. Oh my goodness, I appreciate that. Miss, want to tell you that you can achieve anything you want in life. If you have dreams or goals, then many people are afraid to fail. But if you believe in yourself and work hard, no one can stop you. I believe in it. Don't forget that you are the one who can achieve anything because you're awesome and you're strong. You can do anything. Yo, what kind words to tell her, Fadi. I appreciate that. Yo, Fadi, make sure you read that for yourself and follow that yourself too. Bro, I know you're a little bit down today, so read your own comment and follow it, bro. Yeah, I missed her yesterday. Oh, I missed you guys too. See, here's some goblins. Where'd you get that lens? See, he's got the lens. He's playing with it. He's got it, chap. That strange metal thing up in the hill. You should give it back. Give it back, asshole. You're awesome! Anthony Daniel coming to like the stream. What's up, Anthony? How we doing today, bud? Um, for sure. Love it here. Get them goblins. I'm trying. He's concentrating. Well, how do I, I get him to give it back? You're awesome. Let's go down these stairs. Let's see what this is gonna do. Mr. JB coming to like on the stream. Keller coming in. What's going good, guys? Yes, Fada, you are awesome. Chupapi! <laughs> You're awesome! Uh, $100 for 27 items in the grocery store? That ain't bad. That's averaging about $2 an item, a little under. It's averaging about $1.90 something. You know, the first time you see Miss here, that's why I show her some kind words. Aw. You did good. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, Shrimp. That's, a, that's pretty good. So I started playing Monster Hunter again, Iceborne, last night. Love finding stuff and shooting monsters. Yo, Monster Hunter such a great fucking game, Riss. Hell yes. What a great game. Good choice. You know that they've recently come out with a new one? It's for Switch only. There's a newer Monster Hunter that came out after Iceborne. I forget what it's called, but it's for Switch only. That is bad. The same order cost me $70 three months ago. And if you go back a year ago, the same order would cost you about $60 for sure. What's going on here? Searching these crates, see if we can find what we need. We're told to search under here. <coughs> Hope someone came to join me. Yes, I do. I would have to play on my son's Switch. Get yourself one. Or, you know, take a Switch away, Mom. You got it. I'll be live in two hours if you want to run some games with me. That's so nice of you. They don't start till March. Did I miss something? I must have missed a comment there. 
when does it start to march? Respect Goblin Stove. Let me in, buddy. How do I get in here? Let me get a play right now because later I will be busy. They raised in Walmart's minimum doesn't start till March. Oh, I got you, I got you, got you. You have kids at 23? Yo, that ain't bad. 23 ain't bad. You taking Lady Ram? Yo. Disco Troy coming at the like and Disco Troy giving me the share. Yo, thank you so much, You're bud. awesome! On a chest over here. What's in here? No, the exit's around here somewhere, he says. Well, you don't think Walmart gonna wait to raise prices till then, do you? <laughs> Damn, nothing. Imagine that. Hell nah. Do you guys think we've seen the cap out on inflation then, or do you think it's gonna go up just a little bit more? There's another chest. I think I need a key to get into that kitchen. I hope I don't need to just sit there and kill all these goblins. What's over here? Definitely gonna go up some more. Cap on inflation. <laughs> it's a nice thought, shrimp. It's not Walmart raising prices, it's the companies. My boy owns the Snyder's Pretzel route. Bags are going up four to six dollars a bag because of fuel prices. They can put whatever they want on it. There's lots of different excuses out there for sure. And remember, excuses and reasons are the same thing depending on which, if you're on the giving or receiving end of it. Um, but lots of different companies are raising lots of different prices due to shortage of workers, due to prices of gas and oil going up, and due to many different factors, which then forces companies to have to raise prices. But unfortunately, the companies don't see the wholesaler's end of it. Or buyers don't. Listen, I try and tell her that every day. Today, she wins. She's old. <laughs> You're not old, Riss. I will turn 21 next month of my birthday. Coming in 22nd of February. Wait, I missed it. What? We're saying you're amazing, Riss. We're saying we're awesome and you're beautiful. I'm upstairs. Is this how I got down here? No. What's up these stairs? I'm in the observatory. Nah, as consumers, we don't understand the cost of production, the middleman and stuff, for sure. Yo, congrats on your early 21st birthday. Fada, you're young as shit right now, bro. You're amazing. You got so much ahead of you, dude. Since I said you're old. You're right, though, Fadi. As uh, most consumers do not understand um, the full cost and the full everything that actually goes into running a business and all the different prices and middlemen that are involved, I agree with that. I've embraced my old, better watch out. The old comes with wisdom and gray hairs. Old does come with wisdom. I'll be 29 in September. There you go, Lily. I say she isn't old. I don't think she's old either. I don't think she's old either. <laughs> I'll be 35 in September. I don't know where my guys run to. I'm gonna be 32 in April, guys, 32. You never know, you might have white hairs. Hey, yo. 
Dude, I hope instead of going gray that I just go white. I'd rather do white than gray. Bunch of young, beautiful people in here. Just a bunch of beautiful people in here. Bunch of beautiful people. He says, what fucking day, bro? Whoa, 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 wait, 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 look at all these chests. It's empty, okay, not a spider. Shrimp Daddy Forever 21. <laughs> I found the fucking kitchen key, chat. I want to go search this one anyways. I got the kitchen key. I finally found it. I'm not beautiful. You are beautiful, shrimp. You handsome devil. You handsome son of a bitch. Disco, how we doing today, bro? Thanks so much for coming in with the share and the like. I appreciate you, man. Thanks for helping spread us around. On September 6th, and my daughter is September 1st. I love that, man, that you guys get to be so close together like that. I'm beautiful young here, he says. Don't need to get rid of him. Sheesh. Need to go get more coffee, chap. Take that gold. It better be quick. There may be more guards about. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, chat. I gotta get this done. Lens mold. Is that it? Okay, how the hell do we get back out of here? It says Disco Troy. Hey, BB! My soul is old and dusty. So they're all good, just surfing. Glad to see you. Don't, I don't, she stole my birthday. Yo, kids will always take precedence, man. I get that too. My sister is the seventh. Hey, yo. My bones my doc tells me I'm old. That's facts. He told me I needed to start taking a multivitamin and get some vitamin E. <laughs> Taking multivitamins doesn't mean you're old. I don't think your doctor said, look, Riz, you're getting old. Okay, I think that this is what I need. Let's go talk to this guy. Everyone over here, all beautiful. I'm just like, hey, look at me. I'm an asshole. <laughs> no, you're not, bud. Your soul's pure and wise. Fuck yeah. Lady Ram come in and say, did your grandmother make it back home safe? Oh, look at you guys all caring. Well, you better clear out your cobwebs, sir. What? <laughs> Dang. Butterfly. He said, you realize that's not a type of shrimp. It's just shrimp cut in half. R.I.P. Cry face. It's true, though. Uh, you can butterfly any type of food or any type of meat. She's the first. I'm the sixth. And my old man's mom's birthday is on the 11th. And my youngest is October 6th. Dang, let you guys all surrounded by each other. Da, na, 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 na. Everybody showing Lady Ramming some love up in here. My golly goodness. Said so I've been here just a lurking. She carried me two times. What you guys vibing? Gonna go back and talk to this professor. You better sing my song again the next time you go live. Y'all wanna hear it? Trip, the next time I come on your chat, bro, I'm gonna ask for the wrist song. I wanna hear it. 
I want to hear it. I keep hearing all about it, but I never get to hear the song. So if you're an asshole and you eat butt, does that make you a cannibal? What the hell is going on in chat? I look away to quest out for two minutes, guys, for two minutes. And it goes this, I'm great, just drinking coffee and spending money. Hey, yo. I retired it. No, you tell me I'm never going to hear it, shrimp. I mean, Riss, she carried me on Fortnite to two dubs. I swear she's cracked. I don't know. I played with Riss. Riss, where's my carry? I'll be posting them clips soonsies. Bring me the mold. I certainly have. You'll never guess what they're doing with it. They were cooking with it. Out of retirement for one show. Uh, does anybody got a clip of it? Let's post a clip. Let's go in and clip his video and post this shit. I want to see it. Better give your bar shrimp. They're asking. The people want it, shrimp. The people want it. But I said she's the best player. I'm not cracked. I'm just a smart player. Hey yo, playing smarts key. But smart is all relative to your play style in Fortnite as well. You know what I mean? It really depends on how you want to play. Like, I'm a very aggressive player, so I like to get in there. So it's about just making smart rotations and holding a smart position. Um, and that can be in many different ways. You can get to zone and hold the hill. It can be just follow the uh, storm up. There's many good ways to do that. So smart's all relative. We want a we wanna full concert stream, bro. Walmart won't take my money. Are you sure it's Walmart that won't take it? Shrimp over here being a fucking hater. I need to go get some more coffee, chat. Is the lens finished? Yeah, we're fixing the fucking observatory, chat. All right, now we got to go see this fucking telescope in action. Oh, third party bush camp your ass so hard. <laughs> that ain't ever gonna be me, guys. Imagine that. I keep typing in my card info, and then they try to pull it, and it keeps kicking me out of the payment screen. Oh, my goodness. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, Fadi. If you're going to jump out now, then I hope you have an amazing time. GGB, coming with the love and all the shares. Thanks so much, babe. Riz died over here. I mean, I'll third party your ass, but I ain't hiding in a bush, Riz. That ain't going to be me. I ain't hiding in no bush. Does anybody remember how we, where we found those stairs before, like to get up to the observatory? I forget where it was. I feel like it was on this side. I know you don't mean Fortnite. I can't uninstall. Well, I don't install. Yo, dude, Fortnite's awesome, Shrimp. Smart player. That's how Booga won the first Fortnite World Cup. That is how Booga won it. And then he won $3 million along with it, fucking crazy animal. How sick would that be, chat? You're an awesome streamer and the best person and chat. Yo, chat's what makes this thing awesome. Chat here is amazing. Don't hate, just appreciate the wisdom. Kills me nothing if you die. You ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. Play Fortnite to win. You tell him, Riz. We play Fortnite to fucking win. Oh, there it is. I was ran right past it. Said, 
have a great day. Bow, 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 bow. The great eye to the heavens. We did it, chat. I know nobody's watching or cares, but we fucking fixed this thing. We did the quest. All people here are amazing. Hell yeah, man. Everybody in this chat is amazing. A lot of diverse people and opinions. People here are amazing. A lot of positivity. A lot of people that can look at everything um, through positivity, through love and light. I'm just adding on the finishing touches, it says. Right, let's get this started. The coffee got to me. Hell yeah! Look at him fixing this thing. Sheesh. Get it to win it, baby. Let's fucking go. Go big or take your ass back to the lobby is my view. From the bush anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna hammer your bush. Hey yo. Hammering bushes. It's my favorite pastime, chap. Much love. You guys are the best. Yo, Fadi, you're amazing, bro. I hope you get all the dubs in Fortnite. Follow Rissa's advice. Play smart. Ceramic. I'm just going to go upstairs to finish off. Right. He's going to finish off upstairs, chat. I better wait down here. I don't want to see that. Don't mess with me and hammers. Let's go, Riss. Yo, Riss, we need to get a new game together, man. We need to get a new game together, Riss. I feel like it's been a minute since we've played. I want to hammer your bush. Damn, calm down. No, don't calm down. Let's get it. Lady Ramek, hammer my bush. <laughs> I got a hammer time part three to post. Stay tuned. <laughs> Love it. Uh, looking good. One final adjustment, he says. It's the J talking, and the coffee got me hyped up. Oh. You're Yo, awesome. Patrick TV coming in. Yo, what's up, Patrick? It's a fun name to say too. A lot of people with cool names coming in here today. Patrick. Hell yes. All right, let's go up. Let's go see. Let's go check out this fucking telescope. Thought you were sharing that. Dang, I was forgotten. <laughs> uh. Says, hello, friend. This is really impressive. Certainly is. Please take a look through the telescope and tell me what you see. View the telescope. Let's see it. All right, I see stars. Let's tell them about it. Puff, puff, pass. It's puff, puff, pass, baby. Oh man, is off today. I'm gonna hammer his bush. Wait, does that sound wrong? No, that sounds right. Bush hammer and chat is lit. <laughs> Welcome to a legend streamer, Sir Rem. Please hit that follow and tag, people. Like and share and subscribe with stars. Thanks, Fadi. I got a 15 kill solo dub yesterday. Yo, that's goaded. Congrats. The Demolisher coming in with a like on the stream. Yo, what's up, bro? How we doing today, man? Rem Kale says, I'm happy for him. I want to give that man a high five. I want to go in and look him in the eyes while it's happening and let him know that we're going to knuckle bump. Make sure you hammer it good. <laughs> You're awesome! A little late for the clip. <laughs> uh, she said, my hammer is great. Mind-blowing. Yo. <laughs> uh, I didn't know, Lily. I didn't know. This whole time I thought you were, um... Thought you were the holster and the man had the hammer, but... 
I mean, I don't judge. Body coming with one up and I got 17 kills with this with solo builds. Yo, dude, fuck builds. I can't play builds worth shit. Guys, my record is a 28 kill dub. Solo duo. That's my record. Shrimp says, half of it left. I gotcha. <laughs> They'll snatch your soul. Dang. <laughs> my gosh. Told him I had to look through his telescope. He said, what did you see? If you're not sure, you can find out by looking at the star charts dotted around the downstairs. It was... All right, guys. Was it an Aquarius, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Libra, Virgo? We're going to go Taurus because I'm a Taurus. We're just going to answer that. I'm afraid not. Have another look. What? I got to answer this shit, right? Damn it. What fucking star charts? There's star charts downstairs? I don't see any star charts up here. Damn it. Soul snatch of 10,000 here. <laughs> Look at star chart. Got it. It wasn't this one. It wasn't this one. It wasn't this one. It might have been Capricorn. It was Gemini. Fuck. Is a rifle bag a holster? Doubt your man got a pistol. Probably a rocket launcher. <laughs> I didn't expect to read that. That one got me choked up. I need a carry. Oh my goodness. I need a good backpack. What? Snow Soul Snatcher 10K. Infinity model holster. Oh. You all being crazy. Of course. It's a Gemini. I am the answer. Riss, you're always the answer. Da -na 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 -na. It was Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Right here. That's exactly it. Yes, woohoo. That's the Gemini, the twins. With the devil nature of Gemini, I can't offer you anything more suitable than a two-handed weapon. Nice. By Saradonis earlobes, you must be a friend of the gods indeed. Thank you, sir. Lock the doors and make it easier for you to get back here. We did it, chat. We did it. Nice. It's a spicy morning stream now. Fuck yeah, it has been. It's a rocket launcher for sure. Pew pew. When I was playing with Riz, I felt so happy because we have Long time, no play for six months. Dang. Very sweet and very evil Geminis. You all agree with that. I will not argue with you on that. All your fault. Apparently, Haley can't have smoke in public. <laughs> Dang. You did it, Ramek. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> no, no, we all saw it. We all saw it. I had a friend, he's from France. He was playing Fortnite with me, but now he stopped. Yo, Fadi, one thing you'll learn, you're pretty young, bro. Um, friends and people in your life will come and go. I'm a firm believer that people in your life and people in your circle, they're there for a reason. They're there either to hold you up in a certain spot or they're there to teach you a valuable lesson. Um, everybody changes so much throughout life. People's ideas change, mentalities change, and sometimes people grow apart with nothing wrong with that and nothing wrong with each other. 
So people are going to come and go in your life. Embrace that and learn to love the moments that you have. And the next month to come, life is all about highs and lows. It's about a roller coaster. You're, you're never going to hold up top. And if you hold up top the whole time, Fadi, if you're just always in greatness, everything's always going amazing, then you'll, you won't appreciate them any longer because greatness will become the norm. Life is full of ups and downs. And those downs are equally as important because they teach those valuable lessons. They help you grow. They help you become better. So relish the downs and it's hard to do in the moment but it's only later that you can truly find and appreciate those things there's no gray areas for Gemini's it's love or hate yup yup and sometimes that shit can switch in a moment It's all for sales. What time is it? We got another hour. We might be able to do a second quest. Somebody sell me a fucking sealed pouch, guys. I'm trying to buy this for 20% above asking price. Morning wake and bakes turned me into a... into a fiend, she says. And it wasn't your people. That's what I'm saying, man. People are going to come and go. Your friend probably found anything better to do than Fortnite. Good for him. Never know, he might play better games and still love you. Yo, Shrimp out here being a fucking hater with the Fortnite. Chris just, or Shrimp's just mad because he can't get a dub in there. He fucking runs around blowing booty holes, so now he's getting jealous. I'm just kidding, Shrimp. We love you, bro. <laughs> Said he's a good person. He just stopped the game, and that's okay, bro. It's a game. People's lives move in all sorts of different directions. I roared in my coffee and almost burnt my tongue. Oh, refilled, I think, Shaman. No, that's clearly a devil. <laughs> my little bro, of course. Fuck yeah. That's okay. Thanks for being able to take some shit, shrimp. I love you, bro. <laughs> uh, dude, I can never type in here. I'm always looking like a fucking douche when I'm into people's chats. Just fucking up the typing. All right, Chad, I'm going to go get more coffee, and then I'm going to start another quest line, and we'll continue some chats. Rewarmed. 30 seconds to do the trick. I'm going to go back. i got to get coffee, chat. Watching this stream still and you're hearing it, I just used the lash of the creamer. Could you uh bring some home please? please. Alright, let's see what I missed here. A lot. A lot. 
What about a little bro horse? Hell yeah, shrimp. Your wrist is little bro. Stop. Risk being a hater saying she's gonna come in and eat some butterfly shrimp? Yo, you gotta go with the coconut shrimp. You gotta go with the coconut shrimp. He was streaming. I'm having spaghetti and garlic knots for dinner. I don't know what I'm having. We're playing Fortnite in 2019. I'm gonna hope those shrimp. I'm gonna open those shrimp bodies when I butterfly them. Fry them up and crunch their crispy bodies with some rice. Dang, don't make him cry, Riss. He loves this little shrimp, bro. Dang. He has some problems with family. Oh, much thoughts and prayers to him, man. Oh my goodness. You're awesome! Joshua Gonzalez coming to like. What's up, bro? Shrimp says work is out of creamer also, so better make sure she knows you're out at home also. Or else she's gonna have a very bad day. Yeah. Lady Ramek, we need creamer. Mother Rim, she destroyed PC because he was playing a long time. Oh my goodness. How old is he? How old is he? Was he getting off his butt and make sure he get work done? Like, you know, you also got to uh, help out around the house. We all help make messes. So if he's just sitting on it all day and being lazy, then I'd break it too. I mean, I want to break it because I'd sell it or get rid of it. I'm a pretty strict dad, guys. What song? Oh, no. Riss, that was our only chance. Yo, Josh, let's go, bro. All right. This is a fifth age quest. We're gonna talk to the guard at the Sinclair Mansion north of Sears Village. We did an empty pot and an empty space in our backpack. How do I get an empty pot? Empty pot. Oh, okay. Just like, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Um, right here. Boom. Got it. This one's called Murder Mystery, guys. Let's do this. I know it's north of Sears Village. Let's find that. here let's do it all right heading over there we are back I have to go drop off my mini to school yo drive safe my cup is empty and i have no more coffee better get another pot going don't worry i got a clip of it oh yes wrist i need to see it i got my first sponsor yo lee that's fucking amazing congrats that's amazing I'm out by Yo Fadi. I hope you have a beautiful blessed day, bro. Smoke and drinking coffee is the fastest way to run out of both. Talk about mixed feelings. Go stop, go stop. <laughs> I have to wait for my order, she says. Oh no. Oh no. All right. Let's go up to this quest. We're gonna do, do, go do another quest, chat. It's called Murder Mystery. Yo, keep going. Chat, what does everybody have planned for their day today? I'm gonna go out there and wrap up my month. I gotta, I gotta review some calls for the banks here yet today. So I'm going to go finish all those out. My hands was tired because I was training at the gym. Yo, that's awesome, bro. 
Congrats on getting fit, getting swollen, body out there getting ripped. I have cold brew, but I'm not feeling cold coffee this morning. You know, I can't say I'm never feeling cold coffee. I don't like cold coffee to start my day, though. I'm okay with, like, a cold coffee on a trip. I'm leaving, like, midday and shit. But that's about it. You know, who am I talking to here? This guy. I think I gotta talk to this guard to start it. Milk seller? What's going on here? I said, oh, it's terrible. Lord Sinclair's been murdered. We don't have any clues as to who or why. We're totally baffled. If you can help us, we would be very grateful. Yes, we're gonna solve this mystery. I love cold coffee, but not today. I just, you know, I like cold coffee. I just don't like it in the morning. Yo, Fadi, you're right. Gym is not easy. It's not easy because working out, let's be honest, it sucks. It's hard. It's hard. It's not easy to consistently go to the gym. It takes dedication. It takes perseverance. It takes a strong will. I said, oh my God, cold coffee. You don't like cold coffee, bro? What should I be doing to help? Look around and investigate who might be responsible. Sark said every murder leaves clues to who done it. But frankly, we're out of our depth here. Okay. All right. So we have to go in and examine the crime. Let's go talk to Bob. Let's go talk to Bob. I don't drink coffee. I know a lot of people who don't. Coffee isn't that great for you. <laughs> Someone broke their leg yesterday. Holy shit. Holy shit, they were pushing too much. I love hot milk with coffee. I don't think I've ever had hot milk. At least not with a remembrance of it. So maybe as like a young, young child. I quit. Yo, I know a lot of people have quit caffeine because caffeine is so bad for your body. But yes, coffee is delicious. I agree, Lily. I can't stop. It's so good. Here to help the guards their investigation. Bob says, I suppose I'd better talk to you then. Fuck yeah, you better. I'm going to say, where were you when the murder happened? Bob said, I was walking by myself in the garden. I'm asking if anyone can vouch for that shit. He said, no, but I was. I want to ask him the other question, too. I want to ask him who he thinks was responsible. So I don't really care as long as no one thinks it's me. Maybe it was the strange poison seller who headed towards the Sears village. So there's a poison seller who came in. We know that. And he was out here walking by himself in the garden. Okay, let's go talk to uh, Pierre. Told him I'm here to help with the investigation. Yeah, caffeine, no bueno for sure. Do you eating spaghetti same as me? Yo, father, you having spaghetti tonight, bro? Spaghetti's delicious, cheap, and easy. I fucking love spaghetti. I'm gonna ask him where he was at the time of the murder. He said, I was in town at the inn. When I got back, the house was swarming with guards who told me what had happened. All right, Pierre. Did you hear any suspicious noises? I said, well, like what? The sounds of a struggle with Lord Sinclair? I said, no, I don't remember hearing anything. How about a guard dog barking off? He said, I hear him bark all the time. It's one of his favorite things to do. I can't say I did the night of the murder, though, as I wasn't close enough to hear her anyway. I don't know, guys. Pierre sounded pretty sus. I'm asking who he thinks was responsible. He said, honestly, I think it was Carol. I saw her in a huge argument with Lord Sinclair in the library the other day. It was something to do with stolen books. She definitely seemed upset enough to have done it afterwards. Okay. Hey, Lee, Lily, um, who did you get sponsored with? Can you tell us? Would you like to buy some milk? No, thanks. Why do I have a suspicion that the milk was poisoned? Talk to Gossip. His name's Gossip. He's got to have the deets. 
with homemade meatballs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gossip, we're trying to talk to you, bro. Investigating the murder. What do you think? You can tell me about the Sinclairs. So, well, what do you want to know? Holy shit, why is there so much shit to do here? Talking about Lord Sinclair. Old Lord Sinclair was a great man with a lot of respect in these parts. More than his worthless children have, anyways. It's gotta be one of his kids, right? It's always the kids, chat. Dubby Energy, applying for a few more. Yo, that's awesome. How, how does that work, Lily? I, I've never reached out for sponsorship. Um, do they pay you for um, like advertising their product, or how does that work? Not that I'm one to gossip. Your name's fucking gossip, bro. I asked him who he thinks done it. He said it could have been an intruder. But with that big guard dog of theirs, I seriously doubt it. I suspect it was someone closer to home. Yeah, or the dog would have been freaking out, right? I heard that a poison salesman in the Sears Village made a big sale to one of the family members the other day. I think we're going to have to go find this poison seller and talk to him. Let's go in. Let's talk to Hobbs. Where were you? said he was assisting the cook with the evening meal. I gave Mary his lordship's dinner and sent her to take it to him. Then I heard the scream as she found the body. Did you hear any suspicious noises? Dubby energy. Oh yeah, I just read that one. How do you mean suspicious? Any sounds of struggle? No. So it was quick. He said, no, now that you come to mention it, I don't believe I did. I suppose there's proof enough that could have not have been an intruder. So it's not an intruder, somebody who's around here. He said, it must have been David. The man is nothing more than a bully. And now that I know that poor Lord Sinclair and David had a massive argument. In the living room, yo, they're all arguing with them. David yelled, I'm going to kill you. David's got a nasty temper, he says. Sheesh. No, Frank. Where were you when the murder happened? I don't know, somewhere around here probably. Yo, Frank's being an asshole. Can you spare me a few coins? I'll be able to pay you double tomorrow. So there's poker night tonight. Frank's a little dick. I'm asking who he thinks. He said, I don't know. Looks like he needs money for the inheritance. Asking for money, so it could have been Frank for inheritance money. Asking David where he was. He said, If my people order the Dobby code, I receive money off the order. I'm not sure how much it is. My code gives you 10% off, and I receive 30% off as long as I'm sponsored with them. About to read all the details now. Okay. David's a dick too, man. Call me a halfwit? I'm gonna say it's him, just get him arrested. So the old man deserved to die. There was a suspicious, suspicious redhead woman who came into the house the other day, selling poison. Now that I think about it, last I saw, he was headed towards the tavern in Sears Village. Yeah, we're gonna have to go talk to him. Let's go to the tavern in Sears Village. I earn 10% off of each order. Okay. That's pretty cool. So here's 
the tavern. We know it's a red-headed lady, and she sells poisons. Oh, that's not the tavern. It's a courthouse. What one's the fucking tavern? I don't know. It's definitely not the castle. Some these buildings are labeled, guys. Let's just look around. This is the bank. So it can't be that. What's this building? What's this building? This looks like a jail. Okay. Oh, this looks like a fucking tavern. Poison salesman. We got a chap. I'm investigating the murder. There's a murder at the Sinclair House? That's terrible. I was only there the other day, too. They bought the last of my potent multi purpose poison. Who did you sell the poison to? Well, Peter Potter's patent multi purpose poison is a product of such obvious quality. I'm glad to say I managed to sell a bottle to each of the Sinclairs. What? Anna, Bob, Carol, David, Elizabeth, and Frank all bought a bottle. In fact, they bought the last of my supplies. Well, fuck, that didn't help me chat. They all bought a goddamn bottle? Well, shit. I have the ability for my content to be promoted on their social media and paid ads by Dubby. Yo, that's sick. Say that five times fast, right? Well, that blows. Yo, that's sick. I think that's the best part of it is um, for your account to be promoted on their social media or on their paid ads. Or they'll pay for ads for you? That's badass. You say the ability to, so is that like if you sell X amount that they'll do that? Let's talk to Anna. Why did you buy the poison the other day? I used this gardener Sanford to let his compost heat fester in the eyesores of the garden. So I bought some poison for the traveling salesman so I could kill off some of the wildlife living in it. Okay. I wanna know why everybody bought the poison. We'll talk to those two again too. Louisiana. Do you know why so much poison was bought recently? I was told Carol to buy some of that strange poison salesman to clean the drains before they begin to smell any worse. Just the one who blocked them in the first place. Dang. Shove beans down there. There's far too many to eat. They were almost rotten when she bought them anyway. So shove the beans, don't they? Let's go talk to this. I'm not sure if it's random or how it works. I'm gonna find a streamer who has them sponsored and pick their brain a bit, okay? Why did everyone get so quiet? I don't know, I think it's because I'm concentrating on this quest instead of, uh, Instead of around the chat. Yo, chat, why is everybody so quiet right now? Let's fucking go. Let's get ready for the day. Maybe it's because I'm busy reading this quest line. They're focused. They're trying to help me figure out who this murderer is. I'm asking why he bought poison. Would you like to buy some? I'm kind of strapped for cash right now. I'll sell you cheap. So he still has it. Said he used a bit to clean the family crest. Okay. Run up the chat. That's right, Lily. Run it up, baby. I'm still over here, not paying attention. Yo, that's okay.
Ask him why he bought this poison. It's a hard one. There's a nest of spiders outside. Everybody's got a good fucking excuse, man. Ugh. Let's talk to fucking Carol. It was Carol. I'm trying to type up my sponsor post. Get it. I still think that's awesome for you. Congrats. Why'd you buy poison? Okay, so her story lines up with the story downstairs. She was talking about the drain being backed up. She didn't tell me about the beans, but... Talk to Mary. Where were you, Mary? Her story lines up, too. It was one of those boys. Well, it wasn't Carol, right? Yeah, her story's lining up. Asking her why so much poison. I overheard Anna saying to Stanford that he didn't do something about the state of his compost heap. Let's talk to the handyman real quick. And then we'll go talk to Elizabeth. Yeah, wow, who the fuck was it? God damn. What's taking my engagement? I don't know if I like that. Is this a co-op game? Uh, yes and no, you can play it. It is an, uh, an MMO. So anybody can play it? Slick motherfuckers? Yeah, right? Somebody is being slick. I'm here to help the guards, their investigation. Ooh, Elizabeth's kind of... Dude, all her all his children are kind of dicks. Why'd you buy the poison? There's a nest of mosquitoes under the fountain of the garden, which I killed with poison the other day. You can see for yourself if you're capable of managing that, which I somehow doubt. Fuck you. All right. bookcases in the study. Let's see if we find anything in these. You search the bookcase and you find nothing of interest. Now I'm paying attention. Bullshit. You're awesome! I wasn't saying bullshit to you. Yo, Blitz, coming to like, what's up, Blitz? I don't think I've talked to Stanford outside yet. Let's go talk to him. help with the investigation why is so much poison bought Bob mentioned me the other day that he wanted to get rid of bees everybody's got a fucking excuse um better go investigate like the area 
What room was he killed in? Looks like this room. Let's go investigate the area, chat. Search those drawers. Criminal's dagger. Take that bitch. Pungent pot. Examine that guy. And investigate the window. Oh. Huh. Let me think on a chap. Right there, I can investigate that gate. So we know that ever we keep asking people about this dog. We approach the guard dog starts barking loudly. There's no way the intruder could have committed the murder. It must have been someone the dog knew. Well, we got that. We got that. Keep investigating. Let's keep going, chat. So I gotta search the barrels and stuff with these people. Search Anna's barrel. It's her silver necklace. So we got Anna's silver necklace. What do we care about that for, chat? Search Bob's barrel. Bob's silver cup. This doesn't help me at all. We got Carol's barrel. Silver bottle. I don't know how any of this shit's helping me, chat. Silver book. Chat, I don't know what the fuck. Frank's barrel, which is a pot. I think they all conspired. I think that they all fucking conspired, chat. Elizabeth's needle. Give me a moment. I'm reading. Okay. I want to get this shit done. Yo, Ronan coming in. Pony boy coming in. What's going good, guys? Sorry about that. Sorry, I'm busy. Now I gotta go. All right, babe. Have a great day. I love you. Yes, I got your life. Yo, Pony Boy, let me get you the follow. You're awesome! Hmm. So many good memories when I see this. Yo, dude, fuck yes. So many good memories. It's uh, very reminiscent playing it. So much fun. We're trying to do a, a murder mystery quest right now. What's in here? Investigate the sacks. Some flypaper, should I take it? Yes? Yes? Five, six. I need seven. 
Ronan Raid. Oh my goodness, Ronan, bro. Thank you so much. For the raid. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money. Money, money, money. Bro, thanks so much for coming in. I appreciate you. You're a fucking legend. Thanks so much, bro. Have a great stream. Yo, thank you. It's lifting up. Ronan. Yo, how's everybody doing today? Last day of January, and today we're getting shit done. Money, money, money. Hell yeah. Ronan, I appreciate that, bro. Right now we're really trying to uh, figure out this shit. Let's go into this kitchen. I don't know why we need that, but let's fucking go. We're gonna get this shit, chat. We're gonna get this shit. We're gonna figure it out. Money, money, money. We already had our deep conversation of the day. What's everybody doing to make sure they're successful today? All right, we got some flour. I don't know why the fuck we want that either. Silver item of flour and use okay. What? Okay. Oh. Use flypaper on the necklace. Now we're figuring it out, chat. We're searching for some fingerprints. fingerprints. Go to the mansion gate and speak to gossip. Um, he mentioned seeing the poison. The poison salesman Sears pub. We already did that. Travel south to the pub. Okay, what? Travel southwest to the pub and ask him about the poison and tell you that everyone to go back and ask the person with the matching fingerprints. Found everybody's prints. Okay. moment chat I'm still reading I don't know 
Snapchat. I know who did it. Talk to Anna and show her the fucking prints. This is hard, chat. All right, I'm coming back in, coming back in. You bet, only stream for a short time. Couldn't do much today, so gonna go rest. Yo, have a great rest. Take care, Ronan. Much love to you. Is that work? You enjoying this beautiful view? I'm gonna get you on alert once I get back inside. Much love, my guy. Yo, bro, much love to you, man. We are focused up on this today. I think I'm gonna start doing quests in my own time and do just do grinding with chat so that way I can stay focused on chat. When I play this and I'm gonna have to just do quests on my own time. What's up thing is this one's hard. Yo, where the fuck did Anna go? She was just in this building. We let her out, chat. Oh there she is. Talk to Anna. You recognize this thread? Oh, I gotta investigate all these heaps. So first we have to investigate this compost heap. Faint smell of poison behind. Smell of the compost. Okay. What? So was it Anna? Okay. Wrong with the beehive in the garden. near the milk cellar. Okay, let's investigate the family's beehive. Hive is empty. A few dead bees and a faint smell of poison. So it wasn't Bob. It was Carol. So it wasn't Carol. He said that there was a spider's nest upstairs. By cobwebs near the two servants' quarters. Let's investigate that. Smell of poison, a few dead spiders. Okay. Elizabeth said the point's on a fountain. Where's the fountain? Right there. Oh, wait. That was Elizabeth. Elizabeth didn't use the poison. Frank said the family crest, so I think it was Elizabeth. Because there was poison where everybody said except for Elizabeth. Where is Elizabeth? Is she upstairs? Let's go ask Elizabeth about the... Uh, Carol. It was Elizabeth, chat. She fucking did it. 
She fucking did it. Here to help the guards in their investigation. Do you recognize this thread? So it looks like a blue thread to me. You can't work that out for yourself. Don't hold much hope of solving this. It looks a lot like the material your trousers are made of. I suppose it does. So what? It was Elizabeth. She said she was out. It was Elizabeth. Let's go turn her in. We're turning her in, chat. We're turning in Elizabeth. And then we got to end the stream there, unfortunately. Tomorrow, um, we'll go back to just grinding so that way I can really focus up on chat. I don't like that. Uh, how much it takes away from me to uh, talk to you guys when I'm doing these things. Dun -dun -dun. I know who did it. I have proof it wasn't any of the servants. I have proof one of the families lied about the poisoning. You tell the guards about the mosquitoes at the fountain? Some good detective work there. Need more evidence before we can close the case though. Keep up the good work. Talk to guards. I know who did it. I can prove it wasn't any of the servants. I'm so fucking confused on how to finish this now. We know it's Elizabeth. I'm so fucking confused, chat. So fucking confused. You're awesome. Yo, massive gaming coming to like on the stream. What's going on, massive? How we doing today, bro? We're just trying to get this quest done. Let's go back to the poison salesman and see if there's anything that we missed there. We gotta do something with these fingerprints that I'm missing. That's what we're missing, chat. Something to do with these fingerprints. Jeez, Ramek is focused as fuck. Yo, I really wanna get this. I'm so confused. Do do do. So let's head over to this pub. Talk to this poison salesman again. I'm investigating the murder. Yep. Have this pot found at the murder scene. Sounds exactly like it. Don't see how it could be. It's quite clearly says on the label of all the bottles. Bring the poisonous. missing here chat I really don't fucking know I don't understand I think I got to go confront Elizabeth again
It won't let me show the guard these fucking fingerprints. to Elizabeth some more. a video chat because I feel like I have everything. I'm just missing a step. It won't let me turn this in. I'm gonna have to go watch a video quick. Did you figure it out yet? Well, I figured it out to Elizabeth, but I can't turn it in. I'm missing something to do with these fingerprints that I found. It says it doesn't. It was Elizabeth. The string matches the string on her pants. She's lying about the poison on where it was because she said she got rid of mosquitoes here around the family crest but there's clearly no use of poison when I investigate that and everybody else's stories so far have checked out wait a second use Elizabeth's print with this print I think it was an exacto match oh see wait I don't need a video I know who did it. I have the fingerprints. You can see it's a match. Impressed. It's going to be very hand in the future. We can't arrest someone on just this. I'm afraid you'll need some more evidence. Up. Uh. Talking about the poison. I don't think it was an intruder. I don't think it was Lord Sinclair being stabbed. Guard dog would have been barking. Yep, we got that. Nobody heard any signs of a struggle. But who did it then? I gave proof to the guard that matches Elizabeth's clothes. Yes, I have to agree with that, but we need more evidence. I'm gonna tell him. Um, I proved to the guard that Elizabeth did not use the poison in the fountain. I did it, chat. I did it, we already worked all this out. We'll bring her to trial. And over all the evidence. Yeah. All right, chat. Let's go use these keys that I got. Money chest. We're going to take these skilling items. We're going to take these. Sad day. Saturday. Well, we didn't get much out of those, chat. But we did get 855,000 coins for that shit.
We did it, chat! What did I miss? We solved the murder mystery. Elizabeth did it. It was Elizabeth. God damn it. She killed her father. Because she was arguing with him in the library. We knew it wasn't anybody who snuck in because the dog would have barked. We found her matching fingerprints with her item. And then those fingerprints matched the fingerprints on the dagger that was found in the room from killing her father. And everybody else's poison stories checked out except for hers. So we turned it all in. Damn it, Elizabeth. All right, chat. We do got to get going here for the day. Tomorrow we're going to go back to skilling so we can just stay vibing out the whole time. I wanted to try out questing during the streams, but it takes way too much attention. So we're going to just do that on my time, and then your guys' time is just going to be where I can sit back, relax, and focus on you. Because I think that's way more fun for me and everybody else involved. But that's tomorrow's morning stream. For now, I hope you guys all have a blessed day. I hope you guys chase your own success, and I hope that you guys can view everything through a positive lens. Get out there and chase it. Peace and love, chat. Peace and love.